Hello, my name is Jasmine. I'm an illustrator currently working on a medieval comic. Welcome to my channel. I have not posted on here in a while because I've been posting pretty long vlogs on my Patreon. Um, but for today's video, I will be going over how I draw and color the cover for my upcoming PDF version of the first two chapters of my medieval comic, Girl Night. The first chapter's PDF is completely done. It covers the first 10 pages of the comic and I'm pretty much just waiting on my friend to review it and let me know if there's any glaring issues. So I'm already focusing on chapter two. So this is the artwork I have specifically for that chapter. It's gonna be the inside illustration and I do have a vlog covering how I made that illustration. Ideally, what I want is a cover on top of that so that that would be the main artwork representing chapter two. Those PDFs are going to be available on my Patreon. They're gonna be free for my fan patrons. Right now, you can read them online on Webtoon or even on Instagram, but honestly, the best way to experience the story is more in like a book form. So I do recommend checking out the PDFs for really being able to immerse yourself in the story better. It, the reading experience is just better. I will link below to my Patreon and those PDFs are going to be available. I'm really excited. Now that I've explained all that, what is the cover for chapter two going to look like? I've had a few ideas. Obviously it has to be an illustration that is related to chapter two, but I've pretty much settled on, on a semi-dramatic lighting illustration of a single character. Let me show you. Also, I'm really obsessed with these dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. It's the best little dessert. Before we move on, since I've mentioned Patreon, you know you can access my Patreon, which is like over a hundred posts for literally just a dollar a month. Just a dollar. I've posted every page, I've posted time lapses, I've posted exclusive vlogs. That's where I live now. Let's move on. This is my little book of thumbnails because thumbnails are only supposed to be like no pressure sort of ideation. I like to keep them in super simple sketchbook. These are all the thumbnails I've done in the past for illustrations. What I was thinking for this cover was one of the characters in chapter 2 is called Guichard. He is the Lord of Beaujeu. And he has a conversation with Henry about what's going on in the castle. He's supposed to be a pretty imposing character. Very stern, no-nonsense kind of a guy. And his office has this big window behind his big desk. Now the question is, what body language do I want to convey in that illustration? Because I got the main elements down. I want the window, I want the desk, and I want him there. He's supposed to be kind of scary, not so much in a villain way, but kind of like your scary stepdad kind of way, if that makes sense. I like this composition, we just need to figure out what his stance is going to be. I think I'm going to settle for that face. Yep, I think that should work. These are pretty messy thumbnails, but it works for now. This is the drawing that I made for the cover for chapter one. So you can see what size it is. It's the size of computer paper. The actual comic is this big. Let me show you the difference in size. Comic is bigger than the cover. I've tried drawing the cover in the actual size of the comic and it is just too big for me. It's it's not necessary, it doesn't have to be that big. As long as the proportion, which is the height and width, is the same, there shouldn't be an issue. So, I have opted for the smaller deleter comic book paper, just for the cover. So it's the same type of paper, different size. To show you the cover of that deleter paper, it's this one. I get them on Amazon. And I think they are very reasonably priced. I have this one that I had already sketched before and I 
erased it so I don't want to waste the paper. I'm going to use this one even though it's got little scribbles on the edge. It's fine. So the plan of attack for that illustration is I'm going to draw the figure first and then the background. Usually I, will, I like to switch it and draw the background first. That way the character will look more grounded once I draw them in. But because the composition is so straightforward, it's literally just going to even be one point perspective. I'm not going to focus on the background quite yet. So I'm going to draw him and then we'll use this to figure out a grid and draw all those other geometric shapes behind him. I always get a little nervous before starting a page, so I break the nervousness with a drink. Look at this cute mug of Girl Night. My good friend Sasha literally made this design and put it on this glass container for my birthday. It's super cute, I'm obsessed with it. I've been drinking literally everything I can in this thing. For today's drink, I put in some electrolyte juice drink. It's not really juice, it's just a flavored water electrolyte thing. I really want to go to the gym. It's four o'clock today. I came back from day job uh, about two hours ago. So I'm hoping this will reinvigorate me to tackle that gym. So what I'll do is I might just put in an hour's worth of drawing and do the gym. There's lots of things that I don't want to do, but we can do them with a cute drink. First, I need to make sure that my proportions is right. So I'm going to block out his main body parts and make sure that it stays within the cover. The title is going to have to go here. And so I want his head to pop in front of the title. I want to be tall and lanky. So I figured out the pose using this little mannequin. He's going to be slightly leaning behind his desk, holding the scroll. I think that's a pretty okay power pose. I am about a quarter of the way into this illustration. My husband said that he's gonna come quite late from work. So all of that is pointing that I should go to the gym now. An additional way to motivate me to go to the gym is that the gym is right next to the grocery store. So I really do need to buy stuff for dinner and renew our snack inventory. So regardless of whether I go to the gym or not, I do have to go to the grocery. So. I don't have a choice at this point. Hello, it's the next day. August, I want to say July. August 2nd, it's 2.40. I literally just got off of work and I made myself a smoothie. I could have eaten what I was supposed to make for dinner yesterday, but when I went to the grocery store, I actually forgot two key ingredients. So I did not make that dinner. Therefore, there is no lunch left over. Uh, to consume so instead I made a smoothie and I'll go to the grocery store later classic Jasmine as my husband said But yeah, this has a uh, vanilla protein powder spinach kale apple banana ice almond milk and ginger I haven't even tasted it. So we'll see. I just throw a bunch of stuff With the protein powder and see what happens The ginger is really good to give it like I don't want to say spicy, depending on how much ginger you want to put, but the ginger just kind of gives it like an extra kick because otherwise it could be really bland and like planty. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so not too shabby for uh, someone who is not the best at like homemaking. Okay, that's delicious. So we will continue today with uh, that drawing. Where is it? This is what we got. I'm not sure about his pose. It's supposed to be a power pose, but he looks weird. I think it's the shoulders, like the fact that he's doing this, leaning against, it's, it's definitely looking weird. So I need to figure out how I'm going to fix that.
let's see if we can work this out together. So the desk I think is too low for it to be a proper desk. So we're gonna have to probably raise that up to here. From the feet up to the torso, fine. So really the issue is here. I tried to find references of someone leaning against the desk, but I couldn't find one, especially as like a power pose. His expression looks a little unsure, definitely from his left eye. See how his eyes are not slanted enough downwards? So he looks a little like doubtful and we don't want that's what we want. Easy fix, we'll just lower that. His hat is too tilted compared to his head, so I need to tilt that this way. That's what my brain is telling me right now. And then figure out what this torso is supposed to be doing. Having his hand lean on the desk, it, it wasn't making any sense body language wise. So instead, I'm going to have that hand hold a feather pen to connect it with the whole land deed and that he's signing off. Still figuring things out, but I think I'm, I'm slowly getting there. excuses. Maybe because the character in this piece is not a woman, I do feel like I have been dragging my feet slightly. Lucky for me, what's next to draw are uh, skirt pleats. I love drawing skirts, so the next couple hours will literally be just figuring out the pleating of his robe. It really shouldn't be that difficult. And then we can focus on the background. Nothing much else to say. <laughs> so that like, brother, you can't even slide properly. We're, we're going, we're, we need your badge and your gun. You're not fit for duty. Ice chai, and we are now using the light box to get the geometric shapes in the background. I really think that the hardest part is done. worried that I was going to draw him too big for the piece but now that I added the background I think there's enough space for him to still look imposing and not too cramped. I also drew over the 
initial border in case I decide that I need more background. And lastly, I didn't draw this part because I'm just going to flip it and then slightly change the details so it doesn't look like an exact copy. It's the afternoon, so I'm going to take a break by making that dinner that I've been trying to make for a couple of days. I'm finally going to do it now, eat that for lunch, and then get back to actually coloring this. show you a little bit about the strategy of how I'm filling in these objects so what I do is lay down one layer of color on one object and I call that the desk layer I'll just delete that just to show you what I'll do is create a new layer and then use clip to layer below so this will only show up whatever has been filled in below it now obviously the desk is not going to be blue, so what we're going to do instead is turn that color white. So we're going to go to edit, tonal correction. I mean, you could just use a paint bucket and paint this white, but there might be little sections like right here that wouldn't get to it. So if you just do it like this, you're doing the entire layer. So if we do white, and obviously the layer is on multiply, so what's going to show up is that it's just going to be transparent. So, we are done with the desk layer. This is the desk color layer. This is the actual layer where we're going to be coloring into. And then I'll show you what that does. And there you go. See? It allows me only to color what's inside that desk layer. That's what I did with his outfit. So we have clothes. Um, I'm going to do that for the desk and then I'm going to do one big layer for the background as well as one big layer for just the floor. If you want to pick up this trick, definitely when you have a piece ready to be colored, think about how many layers you're going to be dividing this piece. So here I have one, two, three, four layers. I might have the scroll and the feather be a separate layer just because it's at the front and it would be really annoying to be erasing around it all the time. So that might just be out of convenience a fifth layer. that a few hours ago tidied up the apartment showered I figured I would do this outro without looking like a dirty goblin so like I maybe mentioned at the beginning of this vlog this cover is for the chapter 2's PDF I plan to launch all of that next week 
now that I've pretty much finished chapter two, that means that it's time to move on to chapter three. I've already looked over the script for chapter three. Really nothing to change there. So I'm, I'm gonna jump and start doing thumbnails. If you'd like to closely follow my journey, I highly recommend you check out my Patreon. It's only a dollar a month and I post several times a week. I think I have over 110 posts. Chapter three is going to focus on medieval training. So lots of exciting stuff. It's gonna be very difficult because paneling out action scenes is really hard. So here's to the end of chapter two and moving on to three. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.